Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here. Um, I'm back with a project share. I just want to show you guys this mini album that I created before I give it to my friend. So this is just a suitcase, like a paper suitcase that holds the mini album. The size of the suitcase is um, five and a half by seven and a half. So five and a half by seven and a half and then the thickness is one and a half and then I just made I doubled the paper the cardstock doubled it and glue gunned it to the side so same construction as like a pizza box only the dimension is different and I'm gonna put the dimensions down in the description box below so you can make it yourself let me know in the comments section if you would like me to make a tutorial of this um, suitcase if you'd like Anyway, let's get started. I just used the paper collection, a baby paper collection that I got years ago. And then I just stitched around it just to make it sturdier. Put a simple doily that I got from Michael's, which is a Martha Stewart one, which is this one. Like a light blue. And then an ephemera piece that I put on foam dots right there. And then I used a lot of these Nuvo drops just to give it a little pop. Because it's a baby boy, I don't want it to look girly. Um, just a simple, because my friend is not a scrapbooker, so I want to make it not too overwhelming. Anyway, I want to show you what's inside. So here is the onesie album. I've had this die maybe since 2009 I'm gonna try to link it if I I'm gonna try to find a link for it if it's still available um, and then so you can get it I'll put it I'll try to put it in the description box below but I just put some shredded paper I put a sharpie pen right there so all they need to do is get photos of the baby and then the sharpie pen is already there so this is the front cover this is what it looks like. It's it's a good enough size right there. And the baby's name is Grayson. So beautiful. What a wonderful baby. Um, but let me flip it for you. So this one, just a simple, just a simple die cut that has says birth story. And then this sticker that says labor of love. So maybe they can put their birth story, what happened during the labor and all that and then this is a photo that they can put on there there's space behind the truck so they can insert the photos right there and then this is the back page of that just simple matting so they can put the photo of the baby and then this one i was thinking day one i put a day one sticker right there maybe they can put like a lot of pictures you know how new parents are I was a new parent too and I took photos of my baby like every single minute so I was thinking this opens up like this so it's like a mini album inside a mini album I just put a sticker right there and then if you open it up like this just some more pages that they can put pictures of the baby, pictures of the baby, and how they feel about it. Kind of document what's going on during that time. And then close it back up. It's simple. Not too much. So I'm going to put it. So I think that will be cute. And then the next page is a simple, just a back part. It says, I love my mommy. So just a photo for the baby, more layering for photos. I love this paper collection, um, some pieces of you and just a felt sticker of a baby bonnet. And then this is where it starts. I put a one right there by the baby bottle so they can put the first month, a picture of the baby on the baby's first month. And it goes on up to the 12th month. So so one month. And then the back page is just extra if they want to do more photos. This one is for the second month and so on. 
So I just decorated every single page. Simple. If they want to journal in the back, that would be awesome too. Some words from mom. And that's the third month. So they can put photos accordingly. Maybe some journaling. A routine. Maybe some things that they want to document. A very simple page. So it's very simple, just putting photos to document the baby's growth. The baby is four months now, so this would be the current month that they're going to be documenting on, but they can backtrack um, right there. Just simple stickers. I just embellished it very, very simply, so it's not too much, not too overwhelming. This is for the fifth month, because the papers already coordinate with each other, which is perfect. So I just let the papers speak for themselves. Super cute, super simple, easy to do. You just cut it with your um, die. And then put a, a punch on there. And then use this. I don't remember what it's called, but you can get it from the Dollar Tree. I think it's index card holder. So that's a cheetah print, and it says it's a boy. Simple decoration for the seventh month. I was decorating it while I was in the carpool and picking up my kids today. So I just wanted to film it so that I can give it to them. So cute and simple. Isn't it so sweet? I loved how it turned out. Just a simple present, but made with love. For my non-scrapbooking friends. This is for the ninth month. I love the colors. It's so cute. This is very light blue. Maybe you're not seeing it very well on camera. but And the prints are so cute. And it's all onesie and baby themed. So cute. We're almost done. That's the back page. This one is for the eleventh month. That's simply decorated right there with just some stickers, some border stickers. And this is for 12 months. So that's it. And that's the back part. And this is the back part. I signed it handmade by me. And then the year. And then that's how it's going to get packaged. So I do hope that you enjoyed my crafty share. I hope it inspires you to... Get out your stash of papers and have a wonderful time creating. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a crafty day. Bye!